Welcome back to the Sleeman Sports Complex in Brisbane. It is main event time as the carnage takes on Leonard Sipilek of Thailand. Ladies and gentlemen, Evolution 13 tonight is our carnival of carnage. Our main event of the night for the WMC Cruiserweight title defense for Nathan Carnage Corbett. All thanks to Prime, ladies and gentlemen. This title defense to be contested over five three minute rounds under full Thai rules. Please welcome out our challenger tonight, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Thailand, Leonard Sipolek. Leonard Sipolek of Thailand about to make his way out to center ring. You talk about extensive records, and you talk about Leonard Sipolek. A record of 116, 35 and 11. The man that Sipilek Jim says hammer cannot be knocked out. See right, Michael, uh, talking to Frank Sipilek, his uh, trainer, earlier in the night, he said uh, Leonard has had 120 amateur boxing fights as well. Add on to that 162 Muay Thai fights. And he's never been KO'd. So that's pretty impressive from uh, Leonard Sipilek, who's also the... Uh, WMPF world champion in the 79 kilo weight division, which is, uh, I suppose, super light heavyweight. So the final blessing ring sign here from the man who looks like the Sammy Davis Jr. of Muay Thai, Leonard Ladies Sipilek. and gentlemen, the challenger, Leonard Sipilek. And we await the emergence of Nathan Corbett. I'm watching you guys. As the Carnival of Please Carnage is about to roll in our main the event. world champion, Nathan Corbett! A huge ovation as always every time Nathan Corbett steps into centre ring. Construction, commercial construction as the carnage. Nathan Carnage Corbin makes his way to centering pound for pound. One of the best Muay Thai fighters, not only in Australia, but all around the world. The question has been for so long, who can stop the carnage? Who can possibly put an end to the rampaging ways of Nathan Corbett? Well, Leonard Sibilek thinks he may be the one to do it here tonight. Sipilek gets his crack at the WMC Cruiserweight World Strap. Ladies and gentlemen, Evolution 13, our carnival of carnage. And tonight has been a carnival. We have brought you only the best gladiators that we could find. Ladies and gentlemen, our main event of the night for the WMC cruiserweight title introducing the challenger fighting out of the blue corner at 84 and a half kilos he's had 220 fights for 180 wins fighting out of the sitpalek gym in thailand the former wmc intercontinental light heavyweight champion please welcome Leonard Sipolek! Leonard Sipolek, who's fought from a middleweight back in his amateur days through to a light heavyweight world champion and now challenging the cruiserweight division. Fighting out of the red corner. He's had 43 professional fights for 41 victories. Fighting out of the brand new Team Carnage gym on the Gold Coast. He is... The WMC World Champion, Nathan Carnage Corbett. And only two losses on the record of Nathan Corbett, those being to Paul Slowinski and Alex Roberts, both men who now ply their trade as heavyweights on the K1 circuit. So in just a moment's time, we will be ready for five by three in our main event, the Carnage's WMC World Cruiserweight strap is on the line. 
And the question is, can Leonard Sipilic be the one to stop the carnage? And can carnage be the one to knock out the seemingly unknockoutable Sipilic? Third man in centering, the one and only Murph, the contender referee, Brian Murphy. The voice, Michael Chevello, ringside with former Australian cruiserweight champion, the Hammer Mark Castanini. From the sold-out Sleeman Sports Complex in Brisbane, we are ready for Evolution 13's main event on the Carnival of Carnage, Australia versus Thailand, Corbett versus Sipilek. The Merv Callsman into centre ring. They'll touch gloves. And the time for talk is over in our main event. Leonard Sipilek, the southpaw fighter, meaning he is a left-handed fighter, which means, of course, Hammer Carnage will try and plough through the centre with that straight right hand. We'll try and work the straight right and the straight right elbow also stepping through and in. Last time out, we saw Sipilek uh, battle. He was very much in the clinch a lot with his opponent. And uh, didn't make for uh, such an entertaining fight because uh, there was so much of uh, the in-close clinching and uh, a lot of stalemating going on with the grapple. But that looks to be a little bit different uh, this time round. Hopefully he'll work on the outside and uh, certainly the carnage will because he's uh, always eager to stay on the outside and bomb, especially with the right elbow. Left hand there from Sipilek. Carnage has already thrown the right elbow, trying to crack through the forearms of Sipilek. Was the forearms that he damaged on his last opponent at Explosion, Spezny Meek of Germany. And on that occasion, Carnage actually broke the forearm of Meek in the opening round with a crossing overhand elbow. Outside thigh kick, Sipilek checks it, throws a left hand counter, balk right hand, turning lead hook from Sipilek, and sticks out the jab off the right hand as the southpaw. So a solid work rate from both these fighters in the first round. We are set for five. Interesting to uh, see Sipilek just using the uh, the push kick and just jabbing out with that leg, keeping Carnage at bay because he knows in close. If he lets him break down the range and uh, shut the gap, Carnage is certainly going to throw those elbows. And uh, you can see Sipilek is well aware of uh, the Carnage's elbow work. Step in, uppercut elbow from Carnage. Double forearm guard as Sipilek went under the elbow to the liver section of Carnage momentarily. All tied up, nothing in the clinch though. No knees, no elbows, and the Murph calls both men to separate. This is what Carnage likes to do. Back the opponents against the ropes, control centre ring, and get them into a position where he can unload those golden elbows just upsetting Sipilek momentarily. Thumping elbow, looking for the schnoggin. Uppercut from Carnage. And this is more like the Carnival of Carnage wreaking havoc in the first round. So some confusion there. Yeah, a bit of confusion. Sounds like actually someone uh, tapping on something that, that sort of simulated the sound of the bell. So the fake bell has caused a bit of confusion. Overhand right there from Sipilek. Throws out the rear left hand. Tip kick to the midsection from Sipilek. Nothing cleanly getting through, though, for the man from Thailand. And once again, Nathan Corbett just stalking his opponent around the ring. That's the real bell. End of the first round. Four more to go. Hammer as we go to the towels. I'll tell you what, he was almost saved, I think, by the fake bell there, Sipilek. Carnage rattled him well and truly. And that uh, was just uh, starting to open up when there was a, a halt to proceedings. Cover those elbows are stung here. So just take your time. Use your hands. Everything off the head. Jab, hook. Move to your left. Chop. There's Bully in the corner there of, uh, of the Carnage. Team Carnage. Frankie Georgie also helping out as they reinsert the mouth guard into Leonard Sipilek. We are ready to roll. Second round of five. First round unofficially. We'll give it a 10-9. That's a Nathan Corbett of Australia. It is Corbett's WMC World Cruiserweight title up for grabs here tonight. A nice uh, step up, jump knee, short jump knee from Sipilek there. And uh, he's really not giving Carnage a lot of respect. Keeping him at range. And uh, he's looking pretty comfortable, as he should do, uh, over a, a oh, sorry, 280 fights. 
All tied up and they tango back against the ropes again. No knees, no elbows being thrown in the clinch. Carnage has never really been a big clinch fighter though. Hammer, he likes to throw the elbows from the outside and he'll prefer to dig away to the opponent's body with his beautiful body rips and also kicks the legs. He's got a good lead body rip as he just uh, showed us then, the Carnage. But yeah, he's a, he's a rangy fighter. Doesn't uh, usually get in the clinch. It's not an area that he's comfortable in or uh, I think he likes to war in. So he stays on the outside and uh, likes to be right in that elbow range. Also the hooking range of from that uh, elbow shot as well. Again in the clinch here, one knee from Sipilek and Carnage is out of there, not willing to engage in the grapple. Downward elbow strike, almost looking for the esophagus area of Sipilek in a beautiful turning left hand, crossing right elbow. And this is solid combination work from the Carnival of Carnage. The champ is on a streak here in the second round, another turning left hook. Tell you what, the Sipilek's copped a couple of good solid elbows especially that uh, forehead region and another one starting to uh, some lumps are starting to appear over the brow and uh, on the forehead there's some uh, been some big shots landed Ty armband just slipping down on Nathan Corbett again he'll want to line up Sipilek when he's got the tie banks fighter against the ropes we've got to say what a sensational show Evolution Promotions have uh, have unveiled here tonight. Capacity crowd and uh, good action from the from the first fight, in fact, all the way through the card. So uh, Evolution done another great job culminating this world title main event. And there was a nice uppercut elbow there off the right arm from Nathan Corbett trying to sear the nose off of Sipilek. Step up round kick from Sipilek, but once again, Leonard Sipilek failing to find any sort of power salvos on a very crafty and aggressive Nathan Corbett here in the second stanza. Still keeps uh, chopping away though, he's giving it a go. The tie, Leonard Sipilek. But uh, one gets the feeling that since the weigh-in, Carnage has certainly looked to uh, have uh, beefed up the better of the two. And they're uh, looking a lot uh, more solid, wider back, wider through the shoulders. Therefore, he's going to be able to generate a lot more strength in the upper body. Crossing elbow from Carnage, looking at take his left ear off and an overhand elbow going for the money box maker front kick to the midsection from Sibilek end of the second round hammer three more rounds to go and this is Nathan Corbett in control see Sibilek there trying for an elbow of his own there's the last we uh, spoke of he's opening up Sipilek. for a lot of things and you're missing it has on his forehead so via the right elbow of the carnage Richard Walsh there, very calm corner, Carnage's corner. No one uh, gets overly flustered and they just work the plan and they work it well. Third round of five in our main event, the WMC Cruiserweight World title on the line. High right round kick from the Carnival of Carnage. Goes to the rib gauge again of Sipilek. Sweeps the kicking leg of Sipilek, nicely done. Beautiful threading left hand there from Leonard Sipilek just lacked any firepower behind it and again have a look at the defenses here of Nathan Corbett scooping the front kick out of the way and coming over the top with the overhand elbow once more in the clinch Corbett not really doing a lot Sipilek throwing a couple of knees to no avail and the Murph just keeps it nice and clean brings them both back to center ring uppercut elbow from Carnage just Feel sometimes, Hammer, that Carnage almost has too much reliance on the elbows. Well, he's trying to live up to his reputation now uh, as the man with the golden elbows. Oh. oh, how about that? The lead left hook from Carnage. Smack bang on the kisser. And Leonard Sipilek, who his trainer said could not be knocked out, has certainly been knocked down here in the third. The eyes still aren't there, Hammer. He shakes it off and gets up. His legs are still shaky. Will uh, Carnage be able to finish him off? Leonard Sipilek is in all sorts of bother oh. now. Downward elbows, roundhouse elbows. Carnage is letting them all go, and Sipilek's wearing them sweetly. Oh, crossing elbow again from Carnage. This is Nathan Carnage, as we love to see him on full-blown assault on his opponent. 
And there's nothing really Sipilek can do but try and hold on. Oh, elbow up a gut there from Sipilek. Missed the target. Carnage ties him up. This round has been all one-way traffic to Nathan Carnage Corbett. I'll tell you what, he's been hit with some solid and sharp elbows, Sipilek, but nothing's cutting him. He's just getting these bizarre lumps appearing from the elbow strikes. Leonard Sipilek has taken more shots than Peter Weller in the opening scene of Robocop, but somehow he is still standing, even after an uppercut, flush off the right hand. And he fires back as well. What a lot of heart. What a lot of heart from uh, this tie. Chab two from Carnage, left hook again from Carnage, crossing elbow from the Australian. He is doing an absolute number here on Leonard Sipilek. Sipilek seemingly has no answers to the sheer aggression and sheer in-ring awesomeness, Hammer, of Nathan Corbett at this stage. Well, Carnage just uh, having his way in uh, elbow department and uh, he's really starting probably to wonder what he has to do to, uh, to stop slip at Sipilek. Because uh, at this point, he's worn the shots and he's worn them well and he's, uh, he fires back. Fires back with even... A round of complete ownership for Nathan Corbett. Two more rounds remaining and Hammer, only a near miracle, I feel, could pull this one out of the hat for Leonard Sipilek. Well, he's just in survival mode, but have a look at that. Drop by the left hook, wore the uppercut flush. Again, Carnage just uh, unveils the hands on the Sipilek. A cut in a very bad place there over the left eye, under the left eyebrow of Leonard Sipilek. And you can bet that that's going to be like a target for Nathan Corbett to sling the elbows to. Interesting to note here, as I look across the ring, Sipilek sitting down between rounds, Corbett standing between rounds. The Aussie is ready to row again, Hammer. There's a bit of trouble. Uh, I'm just getting some gestures that uh, there's a bit of trouble, just perhaps a know, broken hand of, uh, of Sipilek. The doctor has stopped the fight due to a cut over the fighter's left no, eye. No, that due cut, to it looks like, is in a very bad place. On his head. Also, I'd like to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, that the challenger actually broke his wow. hand during the first round and he continued to fight for two more rounds. That's so gutsy, please Hammer. give it up that for our challenger. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, what a gutsy, awesome effort from uh, Leonard Sipilek. Broken hand, uh, that's, that's probably why he wasn't jabbing. I noticed he was only throwing off the rear hand and uh, one of his arms was totally inactive and uh, now I'll the answer what, is ladies found. ladies and gentlemen, it takes a strong man, it takes a tough man, it takes a determined man to get in the ring against Nathan Carnage Corbett. As I said, Leonard broke his hand after round number one. He opted to continue fighting for another two rounds. I'll tell you what. That's what it's all about. Please give it up one more time for our challenger from Thailand, Leonard Sipilek. Our carnival of carnage tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Evolution 13. Still, WMC Cruiserweight Champion, Nathan Carnage. Who is Corbett. truly the best in this weight division? Is it the Australian who once again has the WMC strap around his waist? Or is it the king of the ring from Holland, Tyrone Spong? Will they meet in the future? Only time will tell, and perhaps quite a bit of money and the right circumstances. Meanwhile, it's back to Thailand for Leonard Sipilek. We're going to grab a few words from our world champion, ladies and gentlemen, Nathan Corbett. Mate, looking good, feeling good. Another good win. Yeah, no, to be honest with you, I was off tonight. He uh, definitely threw me off with the southpaw. I haven't fought a southpaw for about five years, so it threw me off a bit. And then, um, got to be honest, I wasn't that happy with my performance, but, you know, you just got to keep fighting through. Started to fire myself, so it's unfortunate that it, he couldn't continue, but uh, that's Muay Thai, so. Yeah, I'll tell you what, a pretty tough bloke, though, for uh, he did a fracture in his hand after the first round. He opted to continue to come out. That takes a bit of guts. Yeah, yeah, we all knew that he was going to be a tough fighter and, uh, you know, from the start, I was prepared for that. Um, but, uh, yeah, full credit to him. He's a good boy and uh, good luck to his future. So words there from the champion, Nathan Corbett, retaining his title.